we celebrate today the memory of the patron saint of priests. The patron saint especially of parish priests. The name is John Mary Vianney. Saint John Mary Vianney. Universally known as the cure of ours, a very compassionate confessor, and spiritual counselor. John Mary Vianney was born of simple, hard-working and devout parents who influenced him to get accustomed to goodness and Christian piety. He grew up tending sheep for his father. He led an austere life which would characterize his priestly life later on. John Mary Vianney was born in Dardilly, France in 1786. When he began his studies in the seminary, John Mary Vianney's only assets were his lib industry and goodwill. He was a hard-working young man, but he was academically dull. He was academically poor. He had almost no power of assimilation or even of memory. He seemed inadequate and inadequately equipped for seminary studies. His failure to study Latin lectures forced John Mary Vianney to continue studying in the seminary. However, his mission and vision of becoming a priest urged him to seek a private tutor. And so he looked for a tutor. The work was hard, the work was slow, but found John found a cheerful guardian and tutor who encouraged and pushed him to study harder. His spiritual guardian was a certain Father Bali, and John was accepted to the priesthood on the assurance of Father Bali that his pupil was thoroughly worthy and good and that he would continue to tutor him even after ordination. And so on August 13, 1815, John Mary Vianney was ordained priest. The young priest he started to attract hordes of people. His sermons caused the church to be filled to overflowing. It seemed that the simple people understood him so well. They were able to identify themselves with Father John. Countless penitents sought his advice even outside the confessional and his work as a confessor is John Mary Vianney's most remarkable accomplishment. He was pleasantly human. He liked games. He liked friends. He liked the love and attention of his family. But while he was human, the remarkable and wonderful fact is that throughout his life, John Mary Vianney never committed any mortal sin and never even witnessed the committing of a mortal sin. He practiced a life of self-denial. He ate very little. He scourged his body. He prayed in intensely. He worked hard, trying to finish in one day the schedule for three days. He visited parishioners in their homes and his most remarkable achievement was his work as a confessor. And believe it or not, he would spend as much as 11 to 12 hours every day in the confessional in the confessional box during winter time and increased to 16 hours every day in the summer months in the confessional to hear the confession of his parishioners. And the Holy Father, the Holy Priest, transformed this parish 
into a haven of holiness. John Mary Vianney's reputation is spread throughout France and ours became a place of pilgrimage. It was a very touching scene to see John Mary Vianney, frail and bowed, gray-haired, mount the pulpit to deliver his homilies. And mind you, he delivered long homilies and mostly he spoke about hell. My dear brothers and sisters, even bishops and priests and religious and laity came to ours to listen to him and many people cried listening to his convincing homilies. He prepared beautiful homilies that penetrated into the soul of everybody who heard him. John Mary Vianney was a man who knew nearly nothing about earthly learning, but he knew so much about God. His life radiated the holy presence of God. And when he died in 1859, he was canonized by Pius XI in 1925, and the same Pope, Pius XI, made him the patron saint of the parish priests throughout the world in 1929. As we celebrate the life and mission of this holy priest, let us pray for our priests, especially those who are in difficult and trying mission stations. Amen.